Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Next Generation Mechanic. Today I'm replacing an hydraulic return filter on the Boeing 787 with GE NX engines. Before we remove the access panels to replace the return filter, let me tell you something about the main hydraulic system on the 787. The 787 has three independent hydraulic system, left, center and right. The hydraulic reservoir for the left system is located in the pylon of the left engine. The center reservoir is located in the center section behind the main wheel well and the right hydraulic reservoir is located in the pylon of the right engine. On the photo you see where the engine pylon is located. The 787 hydraulic system operates at 5000 psi. Most common airplanes nowadays operate on 3000 psi, for example the 737. When a hydraulic system is pressurized with 5000 psi instead of 3000 psi, it allows the use of smaller tubing and hydraulic components. This saves weight and is good for the economic operation of the aircraft. The left and right hydraulic system have an engine driven pump and an electric motor pump. They both supply 5000 psi to the hydraulic system. The engine driven pump is powered when the engine is on and the electric motor pump can be powered when electric power is on the airplane. So you have a hydraulic power source when the engines are off. Because the 787 has two engines and three hydraulic systems, the center system has two electric motor pumps. During flight one always operates and one is a demand pump. This means that this pump switches on when there is a higher demand in the system. The hydraulic reservoir is a bootstrap type reservoir. Because the 787 is a bleedless airplane, there needs to be another form of head pressurization to prevent cavitation in the supply lines. A smaller piston is connected to the pressure side of the hydraulic system and this pushes the piston down or to the right in this case, which creates a positive pressure on the hydraulic fluid in the reservoir. There are 5 filters per hydraulic system, a EDP pressure filter, an EMP pressure filter, a EDP case drain filter and an EMP case drain filter. Just before the reservoir in the return line is the return filter. There is a heat exchanger in the main tanks that cools down the case drain hydraulic fluid and warms the fuel. Enough with the talking, let's see the replacement of the hydraulic return filter. 